Join the Fediverse and stop trying to prop up Twitter clones. Parler was shut down because Amazon decided it should be. If you figured out how to register an email address, you can figure out how to make an account on the Fediverse. Fediverse.party has a list of nodes you can join right now, and I host my own at kiwifarms.cc. It's easy, and you do not have to listen to the rest of this video. The Fediverse is the name for a collection of communities on the internet. In general, they look and feel a lot like Twitter, but unlike Twitter, they are operated by many different groups instead of just Twitter. Despite being separate and independently managed, they still occupy a single network, the Fediverse, because they can talk to each other through something called ActivityPub. ActivityPub is a documented web standard maintained by the W3. The W3 is a nonprofit group that also maintains the standards all websites use so that you can open them in your browser and have them appear the same way, regardless of what browser you use. In the same way, ActivityPub lets different types of front ends for the Fediverse communicate to each other, even though they are often completely different projects written in completely different languages. Email is also a federated protocol. There are big email providers like Gmail and Yahoo, but many companies and individuals choose to host their own email servers for free. ActivityPub is like email meets Twitter, which is why usernames look like a mix between Twitter handles and email addresses, and that they contain the domain name as well as the handle. Mine is at josh at kiwifarms.cc. You, the end user, needs to know nothing about how email works in order to register an email account or to send emails. Your email provider takes care of that for you. But, because email is federated, you've never heard of an email censorship crisis. There is no email.com or email inc that can ban you from sending email, like there is with Facebook or Twitter. Nobody can stop president at whitehouse.gov from emailing people. With the Fediverse, you belong to a node with its own moderation standards to your liking, without isolating yourself from other content on the Fediverse. When you join Gab or Parler, you only have Gab or Parler's audience, and that's just awful. You could join a very permissive node like KiwiFarms.cc, a pornography-friendly node like FreeSpeechExtremist.com, or something that enforces rules against intolerance like JoinMastodon.org. You can also set up a node that only you can use, like cryptocurrency developer Peter Todd did with Mastodon.PeterTodd.org. Even though it's a private node, he can still federate and talk with whomever he wants, and other people can follow him from their own nodes. Usually, all nodes federate with one another automatically, but sometimes node maintainers and their communities have irreconcilable differences and may defederate. In this instance, users of these nodes cannot interact with each other directly at all, but may still see each other's content indirectly if a third party happens to retweet or promote content from a node that is otherwise defederated. This is why alleged rapist Lorelai Bailey threatened to defederate any node that themselves did not defederate the Kiwi Farms node. You can migrate your account to a different node if you're unhappy with the maintainers of your node, but it's a good idea to check with your node's policies before registering so you know what to expect. You should also check out what the node's public timeline looks like. The best way for a Fediverse node to find new content from other nodes is to have users follow each other across nodes. So depending on the interest of users on that node, the timeline can look very different. You could consider this a benefit of having smaller communities, as Twitter trends are almost always politics and K-pop. There is a huge list of nodes catering to specific communities and professional audiences on Fediverse.party. It's not just something for weeaboos, weirdos who jerk off too much, and people who want to say the n-word. The best thing you can do, however, is tell someone running a community you're already a part of to set up their own node. We run Pleroma for KiwiFarms.cc on an old aftermarket server I bought three years ago, but it can handle hundreds of requests a second. There is literally no excuse to say exclusively on Twitter anymore. Mines also intends to federate soon, so if you're dead set on joining another centralized Twitter service, join one not ran by the man-child bee killer of Gab.